Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie. I'm here today to give you guys a full review on the Maybelline Superstay Foundation and also I have my Makeup Revolution concealers with me that I tried out for the first time. I tried out a Real Techniques makeup sponge for the first time today. I'm late on that bandwagon. Don't mind me. I'm just late, but I'm really excited to give you guys a full review on these products because they have been hyped up so much. Everybody and their mom has been talking about them, and I just wanted to throw in my little two cents for whatever it's worth. If you guys want to see this review, and you guys are not already sick of seeing so many reviews about this freaking foundation, then stay tuned and watch the application, and you guys will see my full thoughts about the product. I'm mostly a high-end foundation kind of girl, so for me to dabble into the drugstore is kind of a big deal. My skin is combination skin, so I'm pretty normal around here, and then the center of my T-zone, I'm pretty oily. If this Maybelline foundation can stand me going to work and doing all of my daily activities, and if this concealer cannot create a whole bunch of creasing underneath my eyes, I'm pretty sure that I'll be hooked. But, we gonna see for ourselves. I wanna know for myself. I need answers. So let's start with the shade that I purchased today. When I went into the store and I saw the shade range that everybody was like kind of raving about, I wasn't impressed. I'm just not impressed. I went to Ulta looking for the foundation, like two different Ultas and I couldn't find my shade. Then I went to Walgreens and it seemed like they didn't have all the shades. They were missing Warm Sun, they were missing Warm Coconut, several shades they were missing on the darker end but they had all the lighter shades. And then I went back to Ulta and I was able to find Warm Coconut, which I thought Coconut would have been my shade, but that was too dark. Warm Sun was just way too light and ashy and I don't play those kind of games. We not about to look ashy over here. Like, <laughs> Leave that behind in 2017. We're not doing it this year. I still feel like there was too much of a jump between Warm Sun and Coconut. I just, the jump was too big for me and I felt like that gap should have been filled. That's just my personal idea, so I'm not impressed said it. You know, Ulta is a little flaky acting. They're a little funny to me. I do not like shopping at Ulta because I feel like a lot of the products are used. They do have se um, samples out on the prestige side, but when you get to the drugstore side, I feel like a lot of those products in there, because they don't have samples, are tampered with and fondled, and I don't want no fondled makeup. When I opened up my product, this is what it looked like. I haven't used this at all yet, I haven't swatched it, and this is what the bottle looks like. So here you can see this is this has been used already. I think that their policy in there is a little bit, it's a little shysty, it's a little nasty because a lot of the products in there have been used. So that, that's just my thought. If there's a seal on it, you shouldn't be opening the seal. So since I got the Real Techniques makeup sponge, I'm gonna be applying the foundation with my sponge today. I'm not sure how this color is gonna really look on me because it looks like it might be a little bit, maybe a little too deep. And by the way, I have clean this whole thing off and sanitize it and we're good to go. Taking the same amount of foundation that I always use. This is thick. Hey. Mm, she thick. thick. This foundation seems thick. 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 I'm going to start by taking this end of the sponge, the flat side, and I'm going to just... Oh no. Mm-mm. Baby, what the hell? All right, we're gonna blend this out. This don't match, it doesn't match, it doesn't match. It's not It's not nice on me already. This is super full coverage though. I can't say that it's just not a nice match. Hopefully the concealer will be able to help me out. I don't know if it's the sponge smelling like this. We're definitely gonna have to blend down the neck cuz and this is what I'm talking about with the shade range why should I have to go out looking like this I'm gonna make this work we're gonna make it work but can, can y'all see this Maybelline y'all know Y'all could have squeezed in one more shade in there. Y'all could have. This is this is not. Okay, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it some slack because it is a drugstore product. I guess that's how 
what drugstore products are. This I think would work really nice for my summer shade. Just, I was not gonna be able to pull off warm sun. It was just not gonna happen. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead. I actually like this, this sponge though. This sponge is pretty cool. I think I'm late to the game with this one because I've seen a lot of people using it. If this oxidizes on me, I'm done for. Because Lord Jesus, I don't need this to get any darker. The foundation is applied all the way through now. I think the coverage is great. Um, it looks very even. I like the texture of the foundation, especially going on with the beauty sponge. I'm not really sure what it would have been like applying it with a brush, but I can only assume that the coverage would have been way fuller. And this is already full coverage using a sponge, so I'm happy with it so far. The next product that I'm gonna use. Dang, can you get out of my video? So the next product that I'm gonna use is the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I have two shades. I wasn't really sure what shade I wanted to use. I have the shade C12 and C13. C13 seems like it might be a little bit too deep for me to highlight under my eyes. I'm gonna show you guys a swatch. That's, yeah, so that's about my skin color. I don't think so. And here is C12. This is my first time swatching them. So there's that. I'm definitely gonna use C12 under my eye. I've already color corrected under my eye, so we're gonna go straight in and see what this does. The applicator is really nice. It smells like paint primer or something like that. I don't, I don't know. But it's kind of tingling under my eyes right now. And I don't know if that's normal. I think this dried down kind of fast. No, this smells like white out. That's kind of what it smells like. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that definitely dried down fast. See that? It's really quick. All right, so there's really no time for you to dilly-dally around while you're putting this stuff on because by the time you are done wetting your sponge and everything else, this is gonna be set in stone wherever you apply it. This is a medium coverage. I wouldn't even give it full coverage even though it, it went on pretty nice. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try it, let's try another layer, just a little bit. This color also seems very neutral to me. It would have been nice for them to have a little bit more yellow. This sponge might take the place of my beauty blender, though. I like the size of it and everything. I'm trying to work fast with this stuff. Okay, well. The coverage, the colors are in it. It's, it's nothing amazing. It's a little gray to me. It's a little too neutral. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I put some setting powder underneath my eye, on my eyelids, smile lines, forehead. Um, so I'm gonna dust that off in a minute. But, mm, okay, so the foundation looks really good right now. Okay, I see where y'all are coming from. The concealer. First of all, it smells like whiteout. I don't, y'all know when y'all were kids and you open your whiteout and you used to sniff it? Like, but I don't want my concealer to smell like that. Like, it was a little bit, I felt like a little bit of a, a burning, like tingling, putting it on underneath my eyes. I don't know what that was. I'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit more. I think the hype came from it being in the same shape bottle as the Shape Tape Concealer the doe foot applicator being similar. So now, you know, once they see like a similar shape of a product and a similar applicator, they automatically want to compare it to an already existing product. But I'm not even gonna do that because Tarte's canceled. <laughs> like, y'all cancel, bruh. I'm not even doing that. Like, we're not even gonna bring that up over here anymore. This concealer on its own, I think, deserves its own review and its own shine, and I don't see what is so amazing about it. It doesn't do anything 
spectacular for me. I felt like it was a medium coverage. It's okay. It's just not anything that's like revolutionary to me. Don't shoot the messenger. You know what, I'm not like knocking it, but I'm not praising it either. I need to see how it wears throughout the day. I'm gonna finish up my makeup for the day and then I'll come back on camera. So I just finished my makeup. The level of disrespect. Let's just say that God knew that I was gonna need a new makeup sponge today. He took it upon himself to run off with my beauty blender and tear it up like it was some kind of some kind of toy. So I just want to say that I'm glad I got I, 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 I'm glad that I got this sponge today and I really actually liked it. You sorry? He's apologizing, it's okay. Like, I loved this sponge. Ain't that some shit? Oh, there it goes. Take it. Bye. Just just take it. Cheers. I mentioned earlier that my dog tore up my beauty blender that I had, but um, he didn't stop there at the beauty blender. He's uncomfortably licking his lips right now, but he didn't stop there because he figured that he might as well just go ahead and finish off the real technique sponge that I bought today. Hey Bricks, do you want to say anything? Anything that you would, you know? No? Okay. That's my sponge over there, just kind of laying around in pieces. And I think uh, I think my dog's pretty proud of himself right now. The makeup is on. In this lighting, it looks like the foundation matches my neck. I think for right now, it looks really good. My face feels nice and matte because I did set it with my Laura Mercier under my eye and around my smile lines and my forehead. I already told you guys that I wasn't super impressed with the concealers just yet but we're gonna see how it works out. Right now, I do feel like the creasing is definitely there underneath my eyes. So underneath my eyes, you can definitely see just a little bit of creasing. I normally don't have this much going into my day. It's 1.21 in the afternoon, so I should be back on camera tonight around 10-ish after work maybe. And I'm gonna let y'all know how it goes. I don't see any reason for concern right now, so all's good in the hood. And I'll see you guys later. It's 9.44 right now, so this is about an eight hour wear time for me, which I think is really good. This looks pretty good to me. I don't have any complaints about it. My face normally gets oily throughout the day. I'm definitely very oily on my forehead. Not too bad around the nose. My smile lines aren't even that bad. So you can see right here, I have a little bit of smile lines, but nothing too bad. I really think this looks good. The concealer also held up really well. I'm actually really impressed. I might be able to come out of the high-end stores a little bit. I might be able to drugstore this thing out. I'm happy with this foundation. I don't like the fact that it was used before I got it, but I couldn't find it anywhere else. And these concealers, I'm gonna give them some more tries in other videos and just continue to wear it just to make my final decision. Oh, by the way, I kinda do feel like I have something on my face, a little bit. It's not super lightweight, but it's not heavy either. They're trying to say this is for 24 hour wear and I would never wear this for 24 hours. Right, y'all? The internet hyped it up and it's justified. I'd recommend it. All right, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces.